If you're starting with web development, you will hear the term VIT a lot. I used to call it VIT for a long time. Then I learned that the actual pronunciation is VIT. If you are working with React for a while, you would have used Create React app to bootstrap, to scaffold your React application. Create React app is now deprecated. People are not using it. And they got a great replacement with VIT. VIT is a complete tooling system with which you can scaffold a project with React, Vue, or any other web technologies. For a long time, we could not use modules, ES6 modules, straight away on browser. Browser never had a support for it. What we had to do, we had to rely on certain building libraries like Webpack, Rollup, and Purcell to transpile those and make it like browser friendly that browser understand. Over the period of time, the Java JavaScript application started becoming really, really mammoth. We write now so many modules, so many things. And for a larger application, this transpilation started taking a while longer than what used to be for a smaller application. Developers don't want to wait. They have least patience. They want things faster. I guess Vit just solved that problem. It is fast, it's reliable, and it's really, really awesome to use. Today, in this short video, we are going to configure Vit for a React application. And then with that, we are going to bring in another awesome supercharged framework called Tailwind CSS, which is now a go-to option if you want to do anything with CSS. Of course, the things are opinionated. There are other CSS frameworks available, but my personal choice is Tailwind CSS. So what we're going to do is like, we're going to create a template project so that every time we start creating a React application, we don't have to do all the setup at all. We'll just create it as a template and reuse this template again, again, and again. I create React projects and teach you through those projects and videos on my channel. So it will be also helpful for me to create React projects just on the click of a button and get it done. If you like this video, please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel because your subscription means a lot to me. Before we get started with Vit, make sure that you have Node.js installed to ensure that open a command prompt and give the command called node hyphen v with a space it should give you the version that you have installed in my case the version is 18.18.2 .18 in case the version shows below 18 make sure that you have installed node.js version 18 or higher from the node.js website node.js.org once you have installed node.js successfully and set it up again try the command node space hyphen v to ensure that the right version of Node.js has been installed. Now, as the Node.js is there, the next step would be to start scaffolding our React project using Vit. For that, go to Vit website, which is vitjs.dev, and then click on this Get Started button. If you scroll down to the section that talk about scaffolding your first project, you will find the instructions directly to start with. As we will be creating a project which is React-based, we will be using some existing templates of Vite to get started with a React project. If you scroll down a little further, you will find how to use a template to create a project. For example, if you look into this one, it says npm create Vite at latest, and then you give your project name and then use a template view. In our case, we'll be using a template which is of React. So I'm going to copy this command because I'm going to use yarn. In case you're using npm, pnpm, or bun, you can copy the respective command. Then coming to the command prompt, I'm going to paste this command and going to make a few tweaks to it. The first tweak that we want to make is to change view to react and then give a meaningful name of my application. For example, I'm creating an application for registration purpose. So I give a name called registration and right after that, press enter. That's it. Your project scaffolding is done. Then you can do CD your project folder with the name that you have given and check out the file. All things are there and then you can do yarn or npm install to install the dependencies. As I have used it, yarn, so I'll be doing yarn install or just yarn. It's installing the dependencies. Installation is done. The next step that I can do to run this project locally and for that I'll be doing yarn dev. In case you're using npm, do npm run dev or for pnpm and burn respective commands. The scaffolding is running locally on this particular URL called HTTP localhost 5173. I'm just going to copy that, going to my browser, open a new tab and hit enter. That's it. Vite plus React is ready. In fact, it's an operational React component that you can play around. The next thing that we're going to do is to 
configure Tailwind CSS along with it and make it work. Tailwind CSS, the most talk about CSS framework of today, is very essential that we know how to install that with V to get started with any React project. If you want to know how to get started with Tailwind CSS quickly, I've created a video for you so that you can actually take a look at it and get started with that. Okay, let's get started with the configuration now. We will first install Tailwind CSS and a few necessary libraries along with it. We need post CSS and auto prefixer to be installed along with Tailwind CSS. Why so? Because Tailwind CSS provides a lot of utility classes which by default are not available on your browser. Tailwind CSS need to process them to make a standard CSS class so that your browser can understand that. For that it uses post CSS plugins and auto prefixer so that it works across all your browsers, all the browser vendors. Come, let us install those libraries first. Let's install them with yarn because I'm using yarn for my project. So I'll be using yarn add. I'll be installing them as dev dependencies. So I'll give hyphen hyphen dev. And then we'll be typing down those library names first Tailwind CSS, then post CSS. After that, auto prefix. So that's it. Press enter. It's getting installed. All right. All those dependencies have got installed. Now we are going to create a couple of configuration files. The first configuration file that we'll get is called Tailwind configuration file so that we can tell Tailwind what's expected what specially we need in our project and along with that it will also create another configuration file called post css configuration file to do that give this command npx tailwind css init minus p it says create a tailwind css config file and post css config.js now it's time that we go to vs code and try to see what files that our project got understand them and try to run this project locally great we have this registration project over here if i expand that we already created a bunch of files for us, actually React projects and the component files are under src folder that we can take a look. Along with that, we just created tailwind.config.js file and also postcssconfig.js file. Usually, we don't have to really touch postcssconfig.js file. However, we have to do some configuration in the tailwind.config.js file. Let us do that. Minimally, we have to tell Tailwind what are those source files that you need to look for where we are supposed to find some tailwind classes usually anything inside src if those are with jsx tsx js or ts extension it means that those particular files are supposed to have something to do do with tailwind along with that we have an index.html file that also may have some tailwind classes so come to this content array press and enter and add these entries one is dot slash index.html put a comma and add one more entry for looking into all this JSX, TSX, JS and TS files because sometime you might want to create your project with TypeScript. For that, dot slash SOC slash star star means we will be looking into the nested folders and then all star dot here you provide the extensions js comma ts comma jsx comma tsx that's all we need for now after that we will go to a css file called index.css and here whatever you see you can just select them and delete and then you need to include three important directives from tailwind each of these directives are going to give utility classes that's what we are going to use in our component the three directives that we are going to include are best components and utilities you have to include them using at tailwind so at tailwind space base at tailwind space components at tailwind space utilities once you have done that you have actually done every possible configuration that you need at this point of time to integrate tailwind with wheat that uses a react project go to the command prompt and then start the server locally how you have done before in my case yarn dev is running on 5173 again and we can visibly see some changes than the last time it was quite good it was working because we have now removed the css is probably not working well but we don't need that we'll go to our vs code go to app.jsx file and i'm going to clean up everything all the imports inside the app component and everything inside return so now my component looks like this it's a blank component here i'm going to write one h1 tag say welcome to it with tailwind css and react here i'm going to add few tailwind css classes just to check that it works well for that we'll do class name equals to text a bigger text free excel text center color red let's give a red color to this text and we have a bunch of series of red color that I can select from. Now let's try this out. Voila. We have this text centered 
in a bigger form and it's in red color so that means tailwind css is really really impacting our html rendering in this react project congratulations you have set up a wit project with react template and tailwind css successfully now i can push this one on github and create a repository and after creating this repository i can mark this repository as a template repository so that every time i don't have to do this setup i can create new projects from the template repository that will automatically come with wit tailwind css and react let's do that all the source code that we see here i have now pushed to a github repository and that's available under this project called wheat tailwind react under my account now i want to make it as a template repository for doing that you have to go under settings and then check this checkbox called template repository that's it now it is a template repository so it means that from this one you can create a new repository and then get started with your react coding immediately because that project will already have wheat react and tailwind css configured I hope it was useful to you. I hope you like this video and it will be useful to you. All the links that we have mentioned in this video is in the description of this video. You can go and check it out, including the repository that we have showed, the template repository. And you can create your own as well and make more flavors to it. All right, I'll be coming back again with another video and planning to teach you a lot of React application with hands-on coding. Stay tuned to it.